Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist and head of pathology department, AKMICHKSA. I'll be talking about sex cord stromal tumors of the ovary, lady cell tumor of the ovary. General background. Steroid cell tumors of the ovary are lesions composed predominantly to exclusively of polygonal vacuolated lipid rich to xenophilic cytoplasm. Steroid cell tumors of the ovary are currently classified based on the presence or absence of Reinke crystals as Leydig cell tumor with Reinke crystals or steroid cell tumor without Reinke crystals. The defining feature of Leydig cell tumor is the Reinke crystals, which can be identified either by light or electron microscopy. Leydig cell tumors comprise 19% of all steroid cell tumors. They can be divided anatomically into hyla. They are the most common and arise from normal hyla cells. They are called hyla cell tumors. non hyla type, they are very rare. They evolve from ovarian stromal cells. The etiology of Leydig cell tumor is unknown in most patients. Rare cases have mutations in the fumarate hydratase FH gene either sporadically or as part of hereditary leiomyomatosis and renal cell carcinoma syndrome. Patients range in age from 32 to 82, average 50 eight years. They most often present with androgenic manifestations due to elevated levels of testosterone, whereas estrogenic effects are rare. It is also associated with elevated 17 ketosteroid excretion, unresponsiveness to cortisol suppression. Gross appearance. Leydig cell tumors are circumscribed and small with average size of 2.4 cm. Most tumors are typically unilateral and centered in or adjacent to the ovarian hilum. They have a solid and soft yellow tan or red-brown cut surface. Microscopic features. Lobules of tumor cells are separated by a cellular isenophilic zones, imparting a nodular architecture. Crystals of ring key in Leydig cell tumor can be seen in this photo. Fibronoid degeneration of the vessels within the tumor can be seen. Leydig cell tumor is composed of uniform round to polygonal cells with abundant xenophilic cytoplasm resembling mature Leydig cells. The nuclei are round, uniform, and variably sized and have prominent central nucleoli. Cytologic atypia is minimal to absent and the mitotic activity is low. Leydig cell tumor spindle pattern. This image shows delicate strands and trabeculae of xenophilic cells separated by loose myxoid stroma. The pattern could be focally seen the remainder of the tumor might show more conventional appearance. Lipid-rich Leydig cell tumors. 
they have finally evacuated or formed cytoplasm and resemble zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex. The diagnosis can be challenging due to unconventional appearance. Inhibiting immune stain is positive. This touch prep is air dried and stained with diff quick stain. Several plump, rod shaped, or rhomboid intracytoplasmic crystals of Renki can be seen in the center of the image. This smear is alcohol fixed and stained with H and E. Several intact and fragmented Renki's crystalloids are present. About 5% of cases show considerable cytologic atypia, increased mitotic activity, and necrosis. They usually behave more aggressively. Please note that although Renke crystals are required for a definitive diagnosis of Aladic cell tumor lesions without them can be safely categorized as Aladic cell tumors if they are located in the hilum, juxtaposed to non metallated nerve fibers, in a background of hyla cell hyperplasia associated with fibrinoid degeneration of the vessels within the tumor. Immunohistochemistry. Ladic cell tumor shows immunoreactivity for inhibiting alpha strong cytoplasmic staining, carotenin cytoplasmic and nuclear staining, star steroidogenic acute regularity protein, Cytokeratin. It is seen in about 40% of Leydig cell tumors and is variable in intensity and distribution. Please keep in mind that inhibiting alpha and star steroidogenic acute regularity protein are sensitive and specific markers that serve to separate sex cord stromal tumors, inhibiting and star positive from germ cell tumors, inhibiting and star negative. Prognosis and therapy. There are no well-documented cases of malignant behavior. Unilateral or oophorectomy is adequate therapy. Androgenic manifestations usually regress following removal of the tumor. These are the references. Thank you.